rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. See you get on. No matter how many times I've been relocated, I never get used to it. Well, end of the line. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or pass in through it's on your way to parts unknown, welcome. All right, I'm City 17. It's safer here. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration Overwatch here. stopped our train in, in the, the woods and so took my husband for questioning. They said benefactors. he'd be on the next train. I've been proud to I'm call not City sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice, so, though, letting me wait for him. Passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Welcome to City 17. 
you have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. They never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. I see they took your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much longer. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I would not say that too loud. This is his base of operations. One of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactor. Wait a minute. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safe. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through your way to parts on This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, uh, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later.
that I recently received. Now, put it in the trash can. Why has the seen fit to suppress our reproductive cycle? Sincerely, concerned citizens. Thank you for that. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic the line starts at the end. With all its associated hopes and You'll have to wait your turn like everybody else. I don't I'm know about you, but I'm ready to join civil protection just to get a decent meal. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying the concern, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neuro precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us, kept us safe. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong.
can't take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? Think of something. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your hey, team. Yo. Protect in here. Permit to for the roof. Right There's the no time to lose. Attention, residents. This block contains potential civil detection. Get in here, quick. Keep moving. Head for the roof. Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. I better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that nook. Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. 
It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar! There you are! I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there! No, no! Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from Combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Oh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? You're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to base and LT orbifold. No particular conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right, Gordon. Would you mind plugging us in? It's right there, Gordon. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. 
Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your pet, the freaking headhopper! Rawr! Let me knock out! There he is! He's Lamar with him! Get about that thing! He's coming through, Dad. What's going on, dude? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put! We'll get you out of there! Something is drawing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Hey, hey, he's back! I'm getting him out of there. Don't worry, Gordon. We'll... There he is! Ugh, we're losing it again. The man I saw, I'm all but certain it was... Gordon Freeman. Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.
to run. There's nothing else you can do here. Progress in this community. Three, 
identified person of interest. God! Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same. The same. Get out of here. Attention. Unidentified person of interest. Confirm your civil status with local protection. Team. Get out of here. Hit the road, Jack. Attention. Unidentified person of interest. Confirm your civil status with local protection. Oh, 
Friend, that station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive. Attention, community. Unrest proceeding now in Oh, 
Community Ground Protection Unit. Local unrest structure detected. Assemble, administer, pacify.
Protection is on to us. We're tearing up the railroad, covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with manhacks. You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh shit! Too late! Thanks for your help. Look, it isn't safe here. Now I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, then you really gotta go.
You're Freeman, aren't you? We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6, do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. You better get going now. Get out of here! Get going!
Hey, Dr. Freeman. I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. It's gonna be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. You'll find more help up at Station 7. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Climb on in and fire her up. Go ahead and get in the boat, Dr. Freeman. Get in the airboat, sir. Climb on in and fire her up. Get in the airboat, sir. Go ahead and get in the boat, Dr. Freeman. You'd better get going now.
Confirmation of a disruptor in our midst. One who has acquired an almost messianic reputation in the minds of certain citizens. His figure is synonymous with the darkest urges of instinct, ignorance, and decay. Some of the worst excesses of the Black Mesa incident have been laid directly at his feet. 
And yet unsophisticated minds continue to imbue him with romantic power, giving him such dangerous poetic labels as the one free man, the opener of the way. Let me remind all citizens of the dangers of magical thinking. We have scarcely begun to climb from the dark pit of our species evolution. Let us not slide backward into oblivion, just as we have finally begun to see the light. If you see this so-called free man, report him. Civic deeds do not go unrewarded, and contrarywise, complicity with his cause will not go unpunished. Be wise. Be safe. Be aware.